Miami Tuesday morning. Several streets blocked off in anticipation for the former president's arrival as he is set to face a federal judge for alleged mishandling of classified documents. Because I want to support President Trump because I think he's been getting railroaded. This is uh, one of the one of the first times that our judicial system is trying to prove that it's holding all of our citizens uh, accountable equally under the law. So it's a tiny little win and we're here to celebrate because we got to take our wins when we can. I just see a, a two-tier justice system going on. I just want a fair trial. Let the people decide. The people are smart. They're making them know to uh, win the 2024 because they're scared that he's going to be the president next year. But some like Jack Kaplan, the lone anti-Trumper we spotted, took a few days off of work and traveled from Port St. Lucie to witness history. He says the former president broke the law and should face consequences. You or and I would be locked up if we committed these crimes and were convicted of it. So he's no different. He shouldn't be above the law. I mean, that's the bottom line. Against Trump, calling this moment both historic and sad for very different reasons. Let's be real. Let's call a spade a spade. The guy has gotten away with all kinds of stuff. They've been looking for the crime in Donald Trump since he came down the escalator. Police standing by at the ready to keep crowds away. All right, so there really weren't very many issues at all until right at the very end. This is video just into our newsroom. The man we actually interviewed in that piece.